Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Jun Gem and this is recycled oil soap and how to make it. Here I am measuring in recycled oil which is used cooking oil. I measured 750 ml of it and just a hundred um, or yes about 200 ml of palm kernel oil but now I am measuring it into um, the container and um, I am about bringing in to measure my caustic soda solution which is lye solution. I measured lye solution 500 ml. My lye solution looks this way because it is infused, the water is infused with orange peels and I made them in the ratio one is to three. One part caustic soda um, crystals to three parts water. So I am measuring 500 ml of it for me to be able to get the amount I need to make this um, soap into uh, to um, mix the oil to make a soap, of course. Now. Here you see me mixing the oil. This is just for you to make sure that everything about the oil is completely mixed together. And here I am pouring in the oil, pouring in the lye solution into the oil, sorry. And I mix, mix, mix to emulsify. Emulsification is the process by which the oil and the lye solution mixes properly for you not to see any differential parts as everything becomes uniform okay that is the emulsification as you mix continue to mix this it will seem hard at first but later it will loosen up and it will become homogeneous the whole butter in your container becomes looks one looks like one and that is when you're going to add your soda ash solution now, soda ash is known as washing soda. What it does is that it boosts the ability for the soap to be able to take out dirt when it's washing clothes. Now, most of the oils that I use for this production is cooking oil, which is um, King's, Devon King's oil, and some of it is soya oil. So they don't actually have the property for them to lift out dirt, like coconut oil and palm kernel oil even palm oil has okay but they have the quality to make soap so for you to be able to boost the washing and the cleaning property of the soap you add, have to add soda ash to be able to add more cleaning benefits to the soap so i measured 250 ml of the soda ash solution okay and in that soda ash solution i actually added like two spoons of sugar it's not something that we'll talk about now but that is just to help to boost the ladder here I am about to add um, my fragrance lemon fragrance is what I use that is about 50 ml maybe 50 to 70 ml of lemon fragrance I decided to use just lemon fragrance because I use this for washing plates and I like the lingering smell of lemon fragrance when in your senses when you wash dishes it doesn't linger on your dishes that's why i like it i like lemon fragrance because it does not linger on your dishes your dishes comes out clean without any smell but the lemon fragrance washes off but while you're washing it emits and it lingers in your senses and it's very good so you may notice after you add fragrance separation rising and sometimes thickening in my own case when i was making this soap I notice rising at first, the later separation. Okay, and these are very, very common with citrusy fragrance, especially lemon fragrance. Lemon fragrance is so strong that it can be able to, it can mess up your butter. So, if you want to use it for a bathing soap, you may have to add it to the oil before you add your lye solution. Okay, for people that don't know how to manage it, for people that are beginners, this is a very simple beginner recipe. So here I'm trying to mix properly to make sure that every bit of the fragrance is mixed in the butter. Okay, I'm pouring in the butter into the molds 
as I kept pouring, I started experiencing rising. Rising is a situation whereby your butter will start to become like one moon, to start to become like tiny, tiny lumps of rice. So we call it rising. Then at a particular time, it will start to separate. That was why you saw me mixing the other time before I kept pouring. And here's my husband. He was trying to help me out. He he's always handy he normally understands what happens in soap making sometimes it just doesn't go the way you plan but this soap making took me like i think between eight to ten minutes to make um soap making is something that is second nature to me so making it is not difficult i'm sorry i did not use gloves here why because i have made soap to the extent where i can make soap without anything touching my hands Thank you very much and God bless. Bye-bye.